Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be doing something a little different. Um, this time around I'm trying to build a layout, a very simple but nice layout uh, for a PWA or even a simple mobile app using some of my favorite tools right now, which is uh, React of course and uh, also Material UI, using that as my UI uh, toolbox here. And recently I realized that when building mobile sites, uh, grabbing a, a library like Material UI seems to have proven very useful. Uh, there's a lot of components that works very well with mobile right out of the box. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you in this video um, the very basic and most bare bone layout that you can implement using some of these components. Um, and uh, the lay layout you will create will most likely be one you feel like you've seen before. It will be like very, um, very well known to the user who have been fooling around with mobile websites or even uh, mobile, uh, mobile apps. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, I have a clean React project, uh, create React app uh, with Material UI installed, and um, yeah, let's let's get going. So in a mobile app, what I like to have is um, some very basic design that people understand. So let's begin with creating a components folder and just create three components in here that we're going to need. So first of all, we're going to need some top navigation. I'm just going to call it top bar. Let's just put an H1 in here for now. And then a bot nav, which would be our bottom bar. Okay. And then of course the middle component. Let's just call it content for now, right? content like that. So these are the three components I'll be using. Um, yeah, let's hide this navigation to the left. So um, yeah, let's go to app.js and uh, start building out the layout. So um, what we want to do is to create a flex uh, layout as like the as like the skeleton. The skeleton of the app needs to be a Flexbox container. So I want to pull in grid. And uh, for our first import, we also always need to do this manual import at the top. So let's import Material UI, uh, import grid, sorry, from Material UI core. And uh, then just flag this as a flex container. And since we are mobile, of course, we would like the layout to go uh, in the direction of a column, right? And now we may import our different components, different different components. Yeah. So we have the top nav. We have our content div. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap this in a another div for now. So let's have a div, and then inside this div have our content component, and at the very bottom we have our bot nav bottom navigation. Okay, that looks cool. Um, in order for this uh, layout to work as we would like, we need to add some specific styles for this div. And I'm gonna go outside my component here and define these styles just to keep everything in JavaScript. So let's define a object here called container styles. And let's define the height to be, let's just put 100 view height here for now. I'm gonna be changing this later. And then overflow auto in case we need to scroll. And then let's just put everything in the middle here. And then inside this div, we can pass this container styles object. Just like that. Very cool. 
Let's uh, try to reload the app and see if it works. Okay, it seems like uh, some stuff is being loaded at least. Looks looks cool. Um, yeah, so let's just um, move on to the top navigation, just do a very simple implementation here. So when we're making a top navigation using Material UI, we need to wrap everything in the app bar and then have our flex container with some padding in here, also known as the toolbar. And let's just put in some, just something here. It could just be an avatar with a character. Let's put a character M in here. Reloading that, we get our top bar. And we always need to kind of define what position we have here. In our case, we want position static. All right, that looks cool. Another thing we also need to remember when we are dealing with Material UI or something that may benefit benefit us is always implementing that or importing that CSS baseline and then outputting it as a component in your root somewhere. At least I like to have it in the root. So we don't have any weird padding or margin around the body HTML element. All right, looks cool. Now let's jump uh, right to the bottom uh, component here, which is the bot nav. Um, in here, we can just import a uh, bottom navigation. And uh, a bottom navigation can have some bottom navigation actions in here. So I'm just going to import three of these just to have some uh, initial standpoint. And uh, usually what you want to have here for each action is an icon. You can also put a label there or both, depending on what you want. But the default is to at least to have an icon here. So let's say we want to have like a home icon here, right? So let's try to import some icons. So since we're doing the first import from Material UI icons, we need to do the manual import like this, as we did here. Now, next icon that could be, what could that be? That could be maybe a people icon, like that. And the last one could be, could be like a settings icon. Some way to, to change some settings, right? That would be very cool and then put a bracket here and then save it. All right, after reloading up, we can see that our bottom navigation is here, but we need to scroll to get it. And yeah, that's a very important thing. So when we have our top nav and our bottom nav like this, and we put the height to 100 view height, uh, we actually need to subtract some to make space for the top bar and the bottom bar. That one will always be present, at least in this very basic view, which will be most likely the first view, view you will see when you are on the main screen of your app, right? So let's do calc here and take the 100 view height and then we need to subtract some, right? And in order to find out what we need to subtract, there's something we can do, but just uh, left clicking this one and then checking out the height here. So the height is, if we scroll down a bit, uh, seems like the height is on the toolbar actually. So that would be 56, right? And I can uh, let you guys know that there's also 56 for the bottom navigation. So 56 plus 56, 112 pixels. If we subtract that to our 100 view height here, we are gonna get uh, the exact layout we would like. And well, here you go guys, here we go. Now we have um, exactly where we want. Uh, if we have some content overflowing, we can scroll it here and our bottom nav and out top navigation here will stay in place. Cool. Um, I want to do an additional thing to this layout and that is to add 
just a little bit of state you're going to be needing to do it. you will be you will have to <laughs> sorry i can't talk you will have to do this at some point if you want to do that layout with the bottom navigation so let's uh, add a some state here let's call it tab and I'm going to use the use state hook here, of course. So we need to import that one like that. Now, so I'm putting uh, my state in this component because this is kind of the layout component. And this component manages all the layout stuff. So we can define this as I did and then pass some values to our bottom navigation. So. I'm just going to call this prop value and then pass tab there and then add an unchanged handler and then just pass set tab. I like this uh, naming logic. For me, it makes the most sense. You can choose whatever names you like here, of course. Um, in the bottom nav, we need to grab these props. So we need to grab the value prop and the unchange prop. And then we just need to pass these values to our bottom navigation component. So value value and unchange is not unchanged exactly. We need to grab the second uh, the second argument. So the first argument will be event. The next one will be the tab that we're looking for. All right. So we can call unchange with that tab value. And that should actually be all we need to do. So if we go back to app.js and refresh the page here, you can see the first tab is highlighted. And if I click on another tab here, the highlighting changes to whatever tab I choose here, right? Okay. That's that's cool. So when we're changing tabs, obviously we also want to be reloading the page that that tab um, is pointing at, so to speak. Um, so I want to create a function here inside my app component and then just call it render view. And this function is just going to be a switch case uh, function, so to speak. So switch, we're going to look at the tab. And if it's the first tab, which will be case zero, you want to render content. And then we might pass something in there. Uh, that could be a message that says hello, like that. And let's just return it right away. If it's case one, we might return another message. In a real life app, most likely what you want to be doing here is uh, returning some different components, not the same component, unless you're going to reuse some layout or something. But yeah, this is just to kind of give an example that it works. Uh, default, we can return here. You could put an error page if you don't, if you end up somewhere you don't expect, or just like an error like this. It's always good to put something uh, like an error message or something in here so you don't render something you don't expect. Okay, so yeah, that looks cool. So instead of content down here, we can call our render view function like this. And then, yeah, that should be all. Oh, actually, it's not all. We need to go into content and grab this message prop. We can do that by destructuring up here. And then just put that message in a paragraph to see if it works. Like that. And then also save app. JS Hello, okay, cool. Switch tab to tab number one. 
Uh, seems like we still get hello. Oh, that's because we also send hello down here. So we can put something else, hello too. And yeah, it seems to be working. Okay, cool guys. Um, yeah, obviously this is the most basic layout. Um, usually you also want to have like a side draw up here. If you want even more options that the peep, that the user can can uh, fool around with, and uh, my suggestion is to put an icon in the top uh, navigation and then have a draw come out here. Material UI also has some great uh, components for that. Just put in the draw component here, and you can even load up a full screen model as well. It looks great on mobile and it. It just works, it just works. Okay guys, that's all I want to show for now. A very simple uh, layout for getting started with mobile design. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave it a like, otherwise don't. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.